Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Now in this short video, I've got some great tips for getting you started with your Nikon DSLR camera. So in this video, we're gonna start by looking at what all the buttons and dials do on this camera. And then in part two, the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can then use these functions to take better photos and get better results with your Nikon. So we're going to begin by taking a look at the buttons on this Nikon camera. This particular model is the Nikon D3400. Looking at the top of the camera, we have the on and off switch just here. In the center of the switch is the shutter release button. Turn the camera on. Next to this, we have a button with a red marker. This starts video recording. Next to this is the exposure compensation and aperture control button. This button serves two purposes. You can adjust your exposure compensation and you can use it to adjust your aperture. Below this, we have the info button. This allows you to change the way information is displayed on the LCD. Next up is the camera mode dial. By turning this, we can select different camera modes from fully auto through to scene modes, here you will also find effects and the all important manual modes. Moving on to the back of the camera, top left we have the playback button which plays back our images or recorded videos. Beneath this the menu button takes us into the main camera menu. Below this the plus and minus button allow us to zoom in and check our images to make sure they're nice and sharp. And then we have the eye button, which is particularly important because when you press it, you can make changes to the key camera settings. Over to the right, we have auto exposure lock and auto focus lock. And next to that, we have the control dial, which when turned will make changes to the camera settings. This is often called the thumb wheel. The live view button turns on live view and the multi selector is a bit like a joystick. We can press right, left, up and down to make changes. So for example, if we press the menu button, we can use the multi selector to skip through the different settings. Underneath this is the delete button. And this button here allows us to change the drive mode from single shot through continuous self timer or remote control options. On the side of the camera, we have the lens unlock button here, which you press if you wish to change the lens. The function button, FN button, allows us to make changes to the ISO, but we can assign different settings to the function button. And the flash button, if pressed, pops up the flash when you are in the manual modes. To insert a memory card, we slide the door on the side of the camera open, Insert the card and close. To remove a card, slide the door open again, push the card in and it will pop out. Once again, slide to close. On the bottom of the camera we find the battery compartment and this hole here is for a tripod. This is a standard tripod mount. This camera will fit all standard tripods. Looking at the front of the lens, you will see that I have a filter attached. This is a UV filter and is a great way of protecting the glass from getting damaged. It is much cheaper to replace a UV filter than it is to get the lens glass replaced. For more details on UV filters, check out the links below this video. So now you've got a better idea of what the buttons do on your Nikon camera. The next video, part two, will take things to the next level. I'll show you how to use some of these functions to get really great photos with your Nikon camera. We're going to look at things like aperture, shutter speed, ISO, using the camera manual functions, as well as other things like maybe shooting in black and white. So make sure you check out the next video. There should be a link somewhere over here. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more great videos. Don't forget you can also leave your comments down below. Hope to see you soon. See ya!